available in over 200 countries, serving 1.9 billion people daily and recognised by 94% of the world's population. Coca-Cola has managed to reach an unprecedented level of consumer loyalty through 131 years of carefully constructed branding activities, with a core focus on happiness, fun and sharing. Since its founding in 1866, Coca-Cola has become the third most valuable brand globally. Their brand equity stems from their thorough efforts to raise awareness and form unique and favourable brand associations. They have achieved salience by clearly positioning Coke as a delicious and refreshing drink and strengthening this position over time. The depth of brand awareness has been achieved by associating Coke with iconic international entities such as the NBA, Olympics, FIFA World Cup and even the London Eye, making it easier for consumers to recognise and recall the brand. Marketing efforts such as the Things Go Best With Coke campaign created multiple consumption opportunities, adding to the breadth of Coke's awareness, placing their product in schools, universities and bars, and forming partnerships with fast food chains made sure that their products were associated with every aspect of their consumers' lives, not limited by age, gender or nationality. Traditionally, Coca-Cola has taken the emotional route in order to build brand equity with a focus on brand elements of likability and memorability and creatively using positive imagery to trigger feelings of fun, excitement and friendship in its advertising. This tactic has made Coca-Cola easily transferable. Coca-Cola's use of vintage and classical imagery has helped create meaningful associations with the brand's core values of tradition and heritage. Coke has only made minor changes to its famous contour-shaped bottle, logo, and red and white color scheme, thus encouraging a strong brand recognition around the world. These brand elements have also helped shape modern culture, namely that the company's own interpretation of Santa Claus, dressed in Coca-Cola colors, remains the popular image of Santa to this day. And more recently, Coca-Cola's famous polar bears were used in interactive ads reacting in real time to the 2012 Super Bowl, indicating that whilst the company's marketing efforts have evolved over time, they have kept the same characters to keep themselves recognizable. Coca-Cola has historically ensured their ads are culturally relevant, whether it be using images of American troops during World War II or promoting an all-inclusive USA in light of Trump's election. Coca-Cola's famous I would like to buy the world a Coke campaign featured different nationalities singing together and aired in the midst of the Vietnam War to inspire feelings of peace, positivity and togetherness. These adverts have made the brand symbolic of America by integrating the consumer's patriotic values, heritage and pride into their brand image. In addition, as a traditionally low-involvement product, Coca-Cola has continuously used well-known celebrity endorsers to increase awareness and brand favorability. However, with the soft drink market in decline and consumers' growing want for healthier food products, Coca-Cola has had to introduce healthier horizontal extensions, including Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, Diet Coke and Coca-Cola Life. The company has leveraged their broad market footprint to appeal to different consumer segments with multiple products all underneath one brand umbrella and has identified clear user profiles in its marketing. Diet Coke, which is targeted at young women, has collaborated with fashion designers such as Marc Jacobs to release limited edition bottles, creating new and unique associations between the drink and the fashion industry. In response to Diet Coke being adopted by the female market, Coca-Cola Zero Sugar was introduced as a more macho product that tastes closer to classic Coca-Cola. Guerrilla marketing campaigns such as this James Bond-inspired competition where physical hurdles had to be crossed to win movie tickets have helped to reinforce Zero's position as a masculine product. Coca-Cola has started to integrate a rational approach in the marketing of these extension products to influence health-conscious consumers who are more likely to perceive the purchase as high involvement due to the health risks attached. For example, Coca-Cola Zero's tagline, Great Coke Tastes Zero Sugar, educates the consumer that it is now possible to have the classic taste but in a no-calorie drink, eliminating the presumption that these are negatively correlated attributes. Coca-Cola Life was launched as a sub-brand with less sugar than classic Coke and made from all natural ingredients. Coke Life adverts are heavily focused on the drink's benefits, indicating a shift from the emotional enjoy life message that Coca-Cola has traditionally reinforced. However, promoting life as a natural cola risks portraying alternative Coca-Cola drinks as being artificial and harmful, 
which could be damaging to brand quality and credibility. In order to now shape choice, Coca-Cola has adopted a one-brand strategy by featuring each of its Coke drinks in its adverts to make consumers aware of their healthier alternatives, thereby increasing brand consideration and superiority. Product names such as Diet and Life also help to reinforce customers' judgments that the extension brands are better for you. Introduction of these extensions to their relevant target markets has permitted consumer variety seeking, ensuring customers are less likely to switch from the parent brand. The extensions successfully leveraged equity of the Coca-Cola brand to now contribute 43% of its cola sales, indicating that while they risked cannibalising their own products, they now contribute to the brand's equity. Since its inception, Coca-Cola has been positioned as a drink to be shared. Whether it is their Share a Coke campaign or Give a Little Happiness tagline, they have reinforced the idea that people have more fun with Coke together, thereby increasing brand resonance. The company is the second most influential brand on Facebook, indicating a strong sense of brand loyalty and active engagement. It proves that Coca-Cola is being shared in more ways than one. The relationship consumers have with the Coca-Cola brand is undoubtedly a unique one, reflected in the customer's deep attitudinal attachment to the drink, which was made clear when new Coke was introduced in 1985. Even though the new taste was more closely matched to customers' preferences, it was met with fierce criticism as it contradicted the values and heritage that had been consistently reinforced in the past. Evidently, it's the carefully crafted brand image of Coca-Cola and its associations that consumers love, not just its refreshing taste. Despite their loyal customers and a strong brand resonance, Coca-Cola is currently facing a decrease in sales. But Coca-Cola's problems don't lie within their brand, rather a decline in the soft drinks market as a whole. The company's innovative and consistent marketing principles over time have ensured that the company has achieved high brand equity by successfully raising and maintaining brand awareness, as well as creating positive and meaningful associations that are appealing to customers. Coca-Cola is the cash cow of the declining soft drink market and is able to leverage on its historical success to maintain its position as such. By introducing healthier brand extensions, Coca-Cola has adapted to changing customer preferences, thus proving that the company is willing and able to evolve with the times. Take care of my-